Hello everyone, this video I will show you how to control this cotton motor. This motor, you can see, it can control by manually, you can see here. You can use this for manual control, this cotton, and use this remote. And also you can use your mobile phone for application. But this time, I will show you how to control this motor by this RS485. Because if you have many motor, many cotton, if you install the wall switch and connect with the relay controller, you will need many, many, many wire. But if you use the motor have the RS485 interface, this cable, so you just use these three or these two for A and B and ground. Uh, actually, you can use A and B just two wires, so you can connect together. So many, many motor can connect together. So just send the command by yourself, uh, your application, you can send the IS485 protocol to this command. So this video, I will show you how to test this motor just by this USB I dropped uh, for IS485 command. Uh, this you can connect to my computer and we can send the command how to open the curtain and how to close the curtain. And uh, actually you can let your curtain in any position. So that you just send a command, such as 50% uh, or 30%. So you just send a command uh, for this IS485. And also you can get the current operation, uh, this curtain at this operation. You can read this state uh, from your own software or the application. So let's begin. At first, you can see the motor have this AC power. So I can connect with the socket. This will have the power. And then I can connect with my USB adapter from, for my PC. OK, now you can see my device manager. And here you can see the COM7. That is my USB adapter. So you can see here have the documentation. Every motor, if you have the support RS485, you will see uh, like this protocol, uh, many, many protocol documentation. But now this time, I just tell you some important command to use. So there are all in Chinese version because this motor is made from China. So you can see here many, many protocol. But, uh, I will let you understand how to control the IS-85 current motor. Uh, just use this some important command. That will be easy. So you can see here I can open my COM debug software. That is COM7 and open the port. And if you want to open the cotton, just open cotton. So you can see here is the command that is start and the motor address that is the function and the date and this is crc16 code so this will not need to fill in so you can see here the start is fixed uh, 55 that is for fixed format so this command you just found your motors protocol i just take example for you this is my motor so the motor address uh, every motor will have address because if you have different motor, so you just use a different address. So this FE, FE, and the function 03 and the data address 01. So this code, uh, because we have added this motor bus, so that will auto add this CRC code. So you can see, I can send this command, I click. And you can see uh, this is running, that is for open, uh, that is for when the direction is to center, that is for close. So you can see this is, I have sent this command and this is the feedback. So this can open the curtain. And now you can see I can close the curtain. So you can use this close, you can see I can input that 55 and FE, FE address, and 03. And this time you can see this is 02, 02. And this is 01, 01 is for open, and 02 is for close. 
So you can see I can send this command, click. And this curtain will be closed. And this will auto stop uh, when in the center. Okay, this is how to open and how to close. That will be very easy. Just let your own software, you can send this command uh, to open and to close. So let's look at the third command that is very useful that you can set your curtain to any position so you can see we can also send the command I can use 55 and FE FE with address and this time function 3 0 3 and the data address is 0 4 uh, this area fixed and this is the value this value you can see you can use the calculate of the windows and you need to change to change to program mode so you can see here i can input decimal code that means a 30 percent so you can see i can send this command and you can see now is 30 percent uh, if i want to open this curtain at 50 percent so you just you can see i can input 50 that is 32 so you can change to 32 you can click send so that you can see here is a 50 percent so you you can change to zero to 120 percent so for the curtain to open and close at any, at any position the fourth command is a lead current position because if you have your own software you want to read the state of the curtain position so yeah you just send this command so you can see i can send this command i can delete clear all memory information and i can send 55 fe fe zero one zero two and zero one okay this is the command to read the current you can see i can click send and this is feedback the feedback uh, you can see here is 32 is the feedback value so the 32 just not is the 32 that the hex is 32 the decimal is 50 percent so you can see our window is on the 50 percent uh, if i open the curtain you can see it auto stopped now this time i read again i send this command again you can see click and this is the feedback uh, you can see that is 64 the 64 we can input input to this hex 64 so that the decimal is 100 so this is 100 percent that is the max length of the curtain so this is how to use the different command you can see we can open open the curtain and close the curtain and change any position and read the current position of the curtain so this is for s485 uh, for this interface so this will be very useful because use this way you can read the state and send any position of the curtain you want to open and close in any current okay this is how to use rs485 interface motor uh, for the curtain thanks for watching